Hey, good morning. Uh, Captain Ron here. Uh, today I'd like to talk about density altitude. Uh, recently a pilot friend of mine uh, crashed his gyroplane on takeoff on a grass field, short, short field, about 1,800 feet. Uh, density altitude was high. Uh, and he had a, a pretty good, uh, he had a passenger, plenty of fuel, and uh, the, you know, the maximum takeoff, gross takeoff weight was probably at a, at a maximum limit. So, you know, you, you really have to be careful with density altitude. You know, if you're used to flying during the winter time when it's cool, uh, density altitude's not a problem. But then you start flying when it's uh, high, hot, and heavy. A uh, lot of, lot of uh, humidity, high temperature, and heavy being the aircraft itself and whatever it's carrying. So uh, what I'd like to do this morning is uh, I'll take off off of this uh, hard surface runway and I'll, I'll go over and land at a grass strip. Uh, now, there's several ways of finding out what your density altitude is. Uh, a lot of airports have a information weather system, uh, and, I'll, and this one also has it. I'll push the button and you listen to it. Visibility one zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature two seven Celsius. Dew point one five Celsius. Altimeter three zero zero niner. Remarks, density altitude, 1,500. So, uh, that's one place where you can find it, and also uh, most airports that have an information weather service also has a, a, a landline that you could uh, contact and, and before you even go to the airport to fly. But as a gyro gyroplane pilot, uh, it's, you, you have to treat it's a lot different from an airplane. You know, if you're an experienced airplane pilot, uh, density altitude is a little different with a gyroplane. You know, an airplane, its wings are ready to fly. All you need is airspeed. But in a gyroplane, you need to get your rotors up to RPM before you can create any lift and also airspeed, and that uses runway. So uh, establish your density altitude limitation. It's very important that you maintain within your limitations and the aircraft limitations. Now, in this situation, uh, the grass strip was approximately 1,800 feet long. And uh, when, when you take off a of grass, you got that drag from the ground and the, and the grass, so your, your acceleration ground speed is going to be very slow. Therefore, your takeoff distance is going to be extended. And and the first thing you, a pilot does when he has an obstacle in front of him for climbing and to clear that obstacle is pull the cyclic back to climb. Well, if you don't have the proper airspeed, or you, it's just like putting on the brakes. You pull the cyclic back, the nose is going to come up, the aircraft's going to slow down, you cannot power out of that situation. So you're just going to settle, and that's what happened to this pilot. That he, he had flown off of this runway prior, but now they've got 12 foot of corn in front of the, at the end of the runway that he has to clear on takeoff. So uh, what we'll do today is we'll actually land at the grass strip and, and try to give you a sight picture of, of what you're facing when you, you start your takeoff. Okay, we're ready to line up and wait. Searchy traffic, uh, yellow drive plane. We're lining up and waiting zero one for departure, Searchy. Okay, traffic looks clear. Yeah, there's no density altitude out here today. It's pretty cool. Probably about seventy-five degrees. Uh, and and really, density altitude, if it's like three thousand feet, that's saying that the airport that you're taking off of at that moment is like taking off an airport at 3,000 feet elevation. So when you get up higher, the density altitude is higher, the air is thinner, the rotor blades struggle for efficiency, the propeller struggles for efficiency. It's just like you going outside and working on a high 
high humidity, high temperature day. You don't feel very good. You don't have a lot of energy. It's hard to breathe. Same thing with an aircraft. Okay, we're all set up here. And here we go with the first takeoff. Going through the checklist, position center line of runway, whole wheel brakes, cyclic full forward and center, select switch to flight, and throttle in the green line and pre-rotate. Now if you if you notice this runway, it's marked. It's got dash lines and solid lines. Uh, those lines are 500 feet apart. So I suggest you you practice on a hard surface runway and, and practice your distance and what it what it's going to take you to take off from. And when you're first learning how to fly a gyroplane, we're coming up to 200. All right, release pre-rotator, stick back. When you, when you first start flying gyroplanes, you ought to fly it on a hard surface runway until you build up build up your confidence level and your proficiency. Then you can go, see these lines? These are a thousand foot marks of solids. Every 500 feet they're marked. So it's easy for you to go ahead and measure measure your distance on takeoff. And you always want to subtract from that and consider the, gra the drag from the grass. It may be a bumpy runway. There's traffic, uh, yellow jar plan on the go, zero one. We're going to departing to the east. There's eight. Always consider that. Uh, grass runways are a lot of fun to take off of and land. They're very forgiving and uh, in yaw control in certain circumstances, but uh, you gotta you gotta make good decisions. You gotta you know, when you're on that runway and you're ready to take off, you gotta consider density altitude wind condition. That's another factor. The less wind you have in your face, the longer the runway's gonna be. And the grass strip is going to take longer to take off of. So keep those factors in mind. Practice. Even if you're a high time airplane pilot, stay on a hard surface runway for a while. You know, build your, build your confidence level. There's your traffic, yellow jar plane. We're going to be uh, one mile east uh, at the grass strip. There's it. Now the wind's out of the north today. And this runway has a lot of trees on the north end. But, and it, the runway is about 2,700 feet long. But I just want to land there and stop and let you look at the sight picture. Because when you're all boxed in with obstacles, and especially at the end of the runway that you have to clear, uh, you have a little different mindset. No. And the first thing you're going to try to do is get this puppy off the ground as soon as possible. Well, if you don't have rotor speed and air speed, the uh, gyroplane's not going to go anywhere. It's going to be on the backside of the power curve. And, you know, the, everybody brags and they come, says, well, gyroplanes don't stall like airplanes. That's true, but you're going to mush into the ground. And the end result is the same thing. And generally, you can't land a gyroplane in a vertical descent without totally damaging the aircraft and possibly injuring yourself. Okay, here we go. We're approaching it, the grass strip. And I'm going to, I'm going to use a little vertical descent uh, although there's no obstacles at this at my approach end, yeah. And, and the accident I was talking to you about, you know, a lot of damage, no injuries, but very fortunate. Make good decisions. Use, use good judgment. Don't, uh, you know, cameras shot down more gyroplanes than guns have. So don't try to 
practice and show off in front of a crowd. Uh, they didn't do this in this situation, but I just want to mention that to you. There's a little crosswind here. You notice the, this yaw string is to the left. All right, looks clear. Looks good. All right, I'm going to fly up the runway a little bit and try to simulate about 1,800 feet. about 2700 so maybe right about right about in here I would say the 1800 feet all right I'm going to stop here I'm not going to make a takeoff at this distance because even though I'm light I got a little wind in my face uh, it's not good enough for me nope my decision is uh, I'm going to abort the takeoff. I'm going to taxi back to the uh, you know, runway behind you is, uh, is not very good. <laughs> and altitude above you is not good. 